What's up everybody, Bassmaster Elite Series Pro Cole Sands here. And I'm excited, and I'm excited because today I get to showcase my Z21 Nitro XL from Bass Pro Shop. Super, super fortunate and blessed to be working with them this year. Such a great company. And man, I've already already got to fish two tournaments out of this boat. And um, <laughs> this thing's a beast. Uh, has more room than any boat I've ever been in. Takes waves great. Uh, you have to forgive me, it's a little bit dirty right now. Not bad, but uh, I'm just in the middle of tournament season uh, doing guide trips. And um, I'm just gonna show you some of the awesome features of this boat. Uh, like I said, I've been in a lot of bass boats. Been really fortunate to be in a couple, but Nitro, for the money, you cannot beat it. Uh, they really thought of everything on this boat, and that's what I um, really like about it. Because, you know, competing on the, the level that I do against the competition that I do, these are the best in the world, and you need your equipment to be the, the, the top of the line as well. So uh, we're gonna dive right into it. I'm gonna show you some of these awesome features and uh, hopefully y'all like it. And one last thing, I wanna remind y'all, at the end of the year, this is a demo boat from Bass Pro. I'm getting to use it for the year. At the end of the year, I'm gonna give it right back to them and it's actually gonna be for sale. And it's a really good deal. I'll knock some money off of it because I had to use it for a year. And you'll still have the same warranty as if it was a brand new boat. So if y'all are interested in it, the Bass Pro shops in East Ridge Chattanooga will have this boat for sale. Probably be about October or November. Uh, but I'll be sure to keep y'all updated on that as well. And it will make an awesome boat for somebody. I'm going to take great care of this boat. And um, I'm jealous if I ever get some next because this thing is sweet. Let's get into it. So for starters, I just want to talk about some of the accessories that come in this boat. So got two eight foot power pole blades. Love them. Um, those will come on the boat when it's for sale at the end of the year. Got a Lowrance 12 inch at the bow and the dash. Um, both of those came with the boat and will be on it when uh, it goes for resale. I did add a 10 inch garment to the front and a 10 inch garment to the back uh, just because I'm used to, to looking at the, the 2D on it and the, and the traditional sonar and I actually like the mapping a lot of the, the um, garments as well. At this point, like I tell a lot of people, I don't have an electronic sponsor, but they're all really good. But when this boat goes for resale, it will come with the two Lorances. will come with Active Target. I've um, been really pleased with Active Target. It's my first year running it and um, I like it a lot. Uh, I'm not gonna say I like it more than the Garmin or less, but I'd say I like it just as much, if maybe not even a little bit better for certain applications. Uh, uh, Lowrance Ghost, good, strong, powerful trolling motor. And um, let's see, now we'll go through some of the cool things in the boat. All right, a couple more of the awesome features that come in this boat. There's lumbar support for the driver's seat. Go down here, press this button, adjust the lumbar. Um, a ton of storage, and we'll get into that in a second, but you got the middle storage compartment, that storage compartment. The live well is giant. Um, two huge storage bins in the middle, which I'll open those up in a minute, which is awesome because I got a tackle store in this boat. Uh, of course, we got rock compartments on that side. This can be tackle or rods, whatever you want it to be. And then one of my favorite features is this little day box right here. Um, you know you're catching fish on a specific bait. Open that thing up. Got some Yozuri T7 on top right there. Um, in case I needed to tie some more leader lines for my spinning gear. Um, but you know, you catch them on a, a pack of worms or two, throw them in there, same way. Got two of them. And uh, that's actually been really, really handy. And let's get into this boat. And I'm gonna show you some more of the awesome features. So one of the awesome things that comes in these nitro boats is this Z-Touch pad right here. And what's really cool about it is there's actually several things, but one of the first things that I love is this hole shot button. You automatically press it, the jack plate and trim automatically adjusts the uh, perfect setting so you can get the, the optimum hole shot um, you know, straight out of the gate and beat a lot of the mother boats to your spot. Same way down here, shallow water. If, if you're getting in some shallow water, I can't tell you how many times I've already used this this year at uh, Lake Seminole and Okeechobee. Press that button, it automatically jacks everything up, the trim and the jack plate to where, exactly where it needs to be. You don't have to worry about getting it right yourself. And um, you can get in them shallow water areas, not have to worry about hitting things. And um, I absolutely love that feature. Other really cool things that, that come on this Nitro, you got first fish and, uh, one and first fish two. So this is live well one, which is the left live well. That's live well two. You press, um, you press that and what it does, it automatically turns on the research to medium and the field to high. So you catch that first fish, depending on what side you want to put them on, I want to put them on the driver's side, let's say. Press that, that's all I got to worry about. And it's going to automatically fill it up, you know, uh, put the put water in the, in the in the boat and turn research on as well which is an awesome feature um other things while i'm here fan i got a fan on all of my compartments which is awesome after it rains you know how uh how bad tackle is about getting mildew in it and um so that's something that's really really handy 
uh, you know, you fish it all day in the rain and you don't want your stuff to get rusty and mildewy and you just press that and you're good to go. Um, other features, uh, like I said, you got first fish one, first fish two. Down here, there's actually, I got oxygenators as well if I wanted to use them. Let's see if we can get a close look at those. Um, got a cool little phone holder here, comes with the boat. Uh, speaker system, um, that's something that I've, I've actually got to enjoy more than I thought I would. Um, has an awesome set of kicker speakers on it, as you can see here, uh, which has been um, pretty awesome uh, when I'm idling around looking for stuff. You know, I can blare some music, uh, keep the good vibes going, and um, you know, stay in that right middle state to catch some more fish. But as we go back to this, one last thing that I really like on it, make sure there's nothing, nothing else too crazy. You know, it's got the normal, you know, feel, restart, super simple, easy to understand. Um, and then, you know, pump out when you're ready to take your fish out of the live well at the end of the day. Uh, very well thought out. I, I will say that when it comes to the Z-Touch, it was very well thought out. When you're not using it, it goes to a standby mode. It'll just say Z-Touch on it. That way, um, you know, as you're going down the lake, you just don't start, you know, going off on its own. That's one thing I have seen on the touchscreen technology. Sometimes that will happen. But with the standby mode, uh, it'll go into that standby mode. And you just got to click it one time. It goes back to this and you're good to go. So kind of eliminates that um the, the the potential of stuff going off on its own when you're going down the lake thanks to that standby mode but besides that last thing that that's pretty cool uh not necessary by any means but you know you, you might not help you catch more fish but at least you'll look cool doing it and you can't really tell because it's super daylight out here right now um but i got a really cool led strip right now um it goes all along the boat at the bottom of it through here back of the boat as well as the front. I don't know if you can see the front right now, uh, just because of the daylight. Um, but that's actually really, really handy first thing in the morning as you're getting ready uh, to blast off. So uh, definitely been super happy with that. And uh, so that's just a couple of features here. I'm gonna show you some of the storage and uh, we'll get into more of that. All right, for starters, let's open up this cooler, show you how much storage is in here. Super deep cooler. I mean, you can put drinks, probably as many drinks as you want. Um, I don't know if you can really tell by the video, but that is a extremely deep cooler. Um, got a nice little bait bin here. Um, <laughs> I call it a bait bin. It's actually supposed to be a trash can. Like I said, I got too much crap in here. So whatever I've been using or whatever I think I might use, I, I end up throwing it in there as well. Um, and you know, I kind of re need to reorganize the boat. And it's got a cool little like sandwich holder right here. I got some, you know, various nut products in there, but um, you know, just a really good layout. You know, if, if it was a normal fisherman, not like me, who's a mess, you would have a really good place to throw your trash, good place to keep your sandwiches and your drinks down there, holds a ton of ice as well. And it actually keeps it really well, uh, which is really, really nice. Um, you know, I can put a bag of ice in there to last me all day on a, so uh, on a hot summer day. Then we go up here to the front, go up here and you can just see how much that holds. You know, these are 3,700 boxes for the most part. And let's see how many I got there. I got about plum full. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then that's a, a deep 3,700. So it would hold probably like 19 um, if that one wasn't a deep. So like 19, 3,700 size uh, tackle um, storage bins, which is incredible. Um, my boat is way down way too much right now. I got too much in it. But uh, I just love having tackle on the boat because you just never know when you might need to change up to something. But also one of the really, really cool things about this um, is there's rod holders in here as well. So what I'll end up doing, I don't know if you see that there, here at the front of it. I don't know if you see it or not, but there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think. One, two, three, seven, actually. Seven of these little tubes where, you know, I'll usually keep most of my rods in this rod locker, but once I'm getting everything rigged up the night before a tournament, I put my, my you know, I put seven rods here, seven rods here, however many rods I plan on having a deck in the morning. Once I get everything rigged up, I'll end up putting them putting them in here because it's just so easy to open. Uh, other cool features too, uh, LED lights. There's LED lights in these boxes. You can't tell them out the daylight, but there's LED lights in these boxes. As soon as you open it up, it uh, turns on, makes it super nice. You know, when you're working early in the morning or at night, rigging up tackle, um, you're good to go. There's also magnets here you can hang baits off of. I don't really have nothing hung up right now. Um, same way up here, you can hang soft plastics through there. Uh, just a really well designed um, storage bin. The cool thing is, all I have to do is go over here. Don't have to move rods or nothing to get to my bait. I can open this up. And this is where I keep 
most of my soft plastic stuff. So, you know, I got um, a lot of bags of soft plastics through here. Same way with the rod storage up front. Let me put that up here. Um, as you can tell, I got way too much tackle. You know, there's some various things in here too, travel hooks. Got some uh, spinner baits, some, some diamond bait spinner baits. It's a great spinner bait if you haven't uh, checked them out yet, be sure to. But I've um, got my spinner bait box, all my soft plastics pretty much. Um, pretty much in these two compartments. And um, which I, I just love having that much storage. Uh, as far as the rods go, you know, I could usually fit 14 to 16 rods on deck pretty easily, which is super nice as well. Um, of course, I have the power pole switches up here, which is very handy. Like I said, I've got these two little day boxes that I love having. You know, we catching a couple on a little swim bait, whatever, put them in there and uh, you're good to go. Last but definitely not least, um, on the front side of the boat, we got the, the rod locker, which has got a ton of storage for rods. It's got these places already built in. So I was kind of worried about not being able to put enough rods in there because the, these tubes are already built. You know, I'm used to having a compartment that doesn't have tubes in it, but uh, I was worried about it. And then I, I, I got all my rods ready for my first tournament, put them in there, and I realized I had like 30 rods in there and it fit it no problem. So I was um, very pleased with the amount of storage. Even with the already, you know, kind of pre-built places to put them, um, it, it stored them really, really well, that, that, that amount of rods. So I was really happy with that as well. And as you go over to the driver's side, um, you got a lot of storage in here. I got a lot of big swim baits in here right now. Um, you know, we got big, big, you know, line through stuff, big mag drafts, you know, some OG swimmers from Fish Co., different various stuff, big easies, you know, whatever. Um, got, got my light in here, keep some life jackets for my clients, of course. Uh, got the black box for the actual target, but just really a ton of storage, you know, like you can see, I can still add a little bit of stuff through here and, um, just. Like I said before, it's a really well thought out boat when it comes to storage and design. And I've uh, been very, very pleased with it. One last feature I forgot to show you all up front. Got the cup holder as well as storage to put, you know, scissors, pliers, whatever you want. Um, that's super handy, you know, as you're catching fish, you don't have to go back to the middle of the boat. You just pick up your pair of pliers or your scissors, whatever you need, and uh, you're good to go. And as you go further back, just some cool things, you know, they're not crazy or nothing, but just a cup holder here, a little bit of storage here. Um, I'll just open that for you in a second. Another cup holder here, storage here, and let's see what else. Oh, one thing that's really nice too, open this up. If you wanted to, you know, put an aux cord for the radio, you put it in there, as well as a USB cord to, to uh, charge your phone. Definitely use that a lot. And then we'll talk about the storage in here. So for me, I keep a lot of, you know, the essentials. We've got our toilet paper, your scale. I keep it in here some. Blue retriever. Uh, got sunscreen. Got fish attractants. Man, I got a little bit of everything in there. Uh, you know, extra knobs just in case something ever happened and something fell off. You know, just a lot of, a lot of storage for whatever you need. You know, whatever's handy. Um, and that's actually pretty waterproof too. Like, like you saw, I keep the toilet paper in there, and I haven't had any problems uh, with it getting wet. In the middle compartment, got you know extra pair of sunglasses, water lens sunglasses. You got to have a pair of those in the boat just in case. And right now I'm keeping these in the boat because it's about to be bed season, and uh, got you know kind of a different golden, golden green kind of copper lens for for sight fishing. Um, and you know got to keep a phone charger stuff like that. Got a place to put your phone, which is really really nice. Um, but you know just a ton of storage, and I mean I could put more in there for sure. And one thing I have to talk about too is how comfortable these nitro seats are. Uh, that's something I haven't mentioned yet, but these seats have been in nitro for a couple years now and been in some really rough water, been making some really long uh, boat rides as well, and uh, been super pleased with them, man. But you know, it doesn't hurt your back at the end of the day, which is really nice. It does come with a back seat and a front seat as well. They're not in it right now, um, but when the boat is for, for sale at the end of the year, it will come with them. And one thing I got to talk about too is this net storage design and you know i've been in a lot of boats and i think this is by far the best design and because it's you know it's not intrusive you know it's right behind the seats not in the way uh i only got one strap on it right now you really don't have to worry about it blowing away i usually don't even strap it um, but it just goes right there behind the seat and, you know i can tuck that net in and it's not in the way at all you know like i said in the elite series i can't use it but as i'm guiding i want my clients to catch a fish of a lifetime 
and uh, I'm going to definitely net anything that that might be that because you know I want them to have a great day and a great trip. But so the net design's great. Got a built-in ruler right here. You know, got 15 inches, which is you know usually the keeper. Uh, most places you go will be 12 to 14, 15 inches. Uh, here in Chickamauga, it's 15 inches for largemouth. Super convenient, super handy. You know, you don't have to dig for that um, that, that ruler. You know where it's at every time. You just slide right back in and you're good to go. And then we'll put the live wells. They haven't been cleaned yet, so they might be a little dirty. But no, they're actually pretty nice. Super deep live wells. Um, you know, that blue color, which is supposed to be a little bit better for the fish. Uh, it doesn't leak at all, which is really handy, really nice. Uh, you don't have to worry about your fish running out of water. Uh, super convenient little cold clip holder. Just, you know, when it comes to time on the water, you want to be as efficient as you possibly can. And just Nitro thought of pretty much everything they could do to, to make sure that you are efficient while you're out there. But like I said, super deep live wells, you can fit 20 pounds or even, I mean, I probably fit 27 pounds on one side of, of these live wells with no problem. Um, you probably even do more than that if you want to, but really a big live well, like I said, it's a little bit dirty right now. Been going between tournaments, need to clean it out here soon, but definitely really nice live wells as well. So as we work towards the back of the boat, got these back storage units, a uh, whole ton of room. I got a lot of life jackets in there right now for my clients. A little jump starter kit, you gotta keep that in the boat just because you never know. With that being said, I got power pole charge on it this year though, which you can actually jump start it from power pole charge, which is really cool. It also charges your trolling motor batteries as you go. So that's a really cool feature this boat has on it right now as well. Um, got fish, you know, fish first aid stuff, rejuvenate, all that good stuff. So, and one thing that's really cool about these storage units back here, I'll show you on this other side. They're, they're identical, both sides are. As I open it up, you know, got some rope. You never know when you need rope. And still got more tackle in here. I got too much tackle. But what's really cool about these, these storage units, if you want to, you know, take them out, you know, you're scared of somebody stealing your stuff or you want to work on some tackle in the hotel, then put it in here, these things come right out. Also makes it really nice when you're getting uh, access to the batteries or, you know, anything you might need to access to back here. You just take these out, reach up under there, and you're good to go. Last but not least in the boat, got the Wish Doctor Tackle logo. I've got a little, you know, storage tray right here. Just, you know, stuff you might need, zip ties, electric tape, proper inch. Um, just, you know, stuff you, you, you might need while you're out in the water. Um, you know, got the battery system set up, got the power pole pumps, got power pole charge up under there. Super excited to be using it this year. And um, just, you know, it's a clean layout too. I mean, you don't have wires running everywhere. It's very clean. You got a battery back there, really secluded. You could add another battery there, no problem if you wanted to. And uh, just a really good design. One last thing I forgot a second ago too. Got the Boat Logics mounts this year on it, um, which I trust, man. These things are durable. We go to some really big bodies of water this year. I mean, that thing is on there, very solid. I don't have to worry about my grass. These grass costs a lot of money. Don't want nothing happening to them. So I got that on there. In love with them. Got a single mount right here off the side of the boat. And uh, I will leave this on for the next buyer. I'll take the graph off, but whoever wants um, wants to buy the boat will get that mount, which will be really nice. Uh, but super, super nice uh, graph mounts as well. I did not want to forget throwing those in there because those are top of the line graph mounts. But as we move back here to the boat, you know, we're outside the boat now. I'm just really clean design. I, one thing I really like is this right here this little flow right uh, valve you can put the plug in you know if you forget to put it in you can easily from inside your boat you don't have to hop out of the boat anymore you can just switch that in you're good to go your plugs in um same way you get out of the water slip it out you don't have to crawl, crawl up under the boat like you used to uh right there you know that's your onboard charger uh there's a ladder off the back you know if for any reason you fall in the lake um it's not hard to get back in the boat got a little stepping stool or if you know you have your girlfriend out in the summertime and she wants to go swimming just put that down and uh she's good to hop in the lake and good to go i love the trailer design blacked out wheels super clean trailer um uh you know fiberglass frames and as we go up here one of the cool features this year too is this toolbox i don't think i have anything in it right now i don't but you know you want to put a couple tire tools in there um or you know a couple of chalks anything like that you know it's just super convenient well thought out like i said 
and that is pretty much it that is the z21 nitro xl and uh, you talk about a beast of a boat one i'm so thankful to be in this year so happy with it well that's it for the video guys like i said this boat will be for sale at the end of the year at the bass pro shops in east ridge which is close to chattanooga uh, so y'all be sure to check it out i'm gonna take really good care of this boat because i want the next owner to be as happy with it as i am but uh that's pretty much it for this for this video you know like i said tag along this year um, hopefully get a couple top tens out of this boat maybe even a win you never know but uh the main thing is man i just want to be consistent i want to make a living at the sport and um hopefully share the good news of christ along the way and um you know that's my main goal in this so y'all stay tuned it should be a fun ride and uh, i appreciate all the support thanks guys